Ben Carson has had a pretty moderate record on guns way back in the past. But now he's running for the presidency, which means it's time to start pandering, as you're going to see in this video. I'm a very reasonable person. I, I don't get in the corner and just, you know, stonewall. If you can show me how that's going to stop these things, I'm, I'm willing to listen to it. Anything that they've proposed doesn't stop any mm -hmm. of this. Guns don't kill people. The Second Amendment is extremely important. But David Jakes, who is the publisher of a newspaper out mm -hmm. there in Roseburg, doctor, said the president should not stop in his town because he would simply be grandstanding. When do we get to the point where we have people who actually want to solve our problems? rather than just politicize everything. If the, if the people of the community say, don't go, would you still go if you're president on Friday? Uh, probably not. I mean, I would probably have so many things on my agenda that I'd go to the next one. But Dr. Carson, if a gunman walks up and puts a gun at you and says, what religion are you? Uh, not only would I probably not cooperate with him, I would I would not just stand there and let him shoot me. I would say, hey, guys, everybody attack him. He may shoot me, but he can't get us all. <laughs> I There's so that. much there. Yeah. Oh, my God. So amazing. first of all, that last part, um, uh, the, the panda bear is great. Uh, the last part was, uh, there he is, <laughs> was a softball, and, and he missed it. Like, mm -hmm. the, because the gunman apparently asked what religion people are, and if they were Christian, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he shot him, right? That so goes the story for one of the witnesses, right? And that's horrific. Shooting them is horrific under any light. But if it's based on some sort of crazy discrimination in his mind, you could, it's fair to argue yeah. worse even, right? Yeah. Uh, and so that was supposed to be Ben Carson's moment to say, I would proudly declare that I am a Christian, yeah. right? But instead he's like, I don't know, I'd run. <laughs> I wouldn't let yeah. him shoot me. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's no, actually the correct answer. He'd be a hero, actually. No, no, no. Actually, it's worse than that because he said, no, I would try to get the others to help me. Well, that's true. He wouldn't be the only shot. one, but he's still saying that he would be the leader who gets everyone to fight back. Okay. And maybe I'm going a little bit too far in this, but when he says, I wouldn't just let him shoot me, think about how many people have been shot in these, in these incidents. They apparently just let themselves be shot. But he's better, he's more brave, he's a better leader. Not like all those victims. He, he prefers victims who fight back, apparently, in the, oh, yeah. the vein of Donald Trump. So I found that to be particularly offensive. But right. there's a lot of stuff in that video clip. I mean, th th this isn't his fault. This is uh, Ducey, I believe, when he was like, you know, there's a newspaper editor who doesn't want the president to go. So should he not go? That's a great policy. I think that we should have that from now on. Whenever the president decides to go somewhere, if there's one person in the city that doesn't like him, get the fuck out of the city. Don't go there. It, to, I believe that's called leading from behind. Yeah. I mean, could you imagine if Ben Carson's president and every time a liberal in a city says, ah, I don't want Ben Carson, he's like, oh, then I guess I'm not going. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll switch my schedule, I'll move on to the next thing. <laughs> of course he wouldn't do that. And no, the people of that community didn't speak out. There's one guy who is in favor of guns, no matter how many of his neighbors are yeah. murdered, right? So that's his opinion, and I can guarantee you the opinion in Oregon uh, is not on his side. Yeah. Okay, Oregon is a very blue state, and so... And it wouldn't matter. You don't get nobody gets to veto the president's visit because yeah. they don't happen to agree with his policy position. So I mean, you're hunky dory about all your friends, family, neighbors getting murdered because you want to be able to go hunting or whatever it is that you think you're doing with your gun. That's your opinion, but that doesn't affect the rest of us. Yeah. When you get elected, this is this is what the rights message has been for over a decade. You do not simply get elected to be the president of the people who voted for you. You're the president of the whole country. You're expected to go there. And which is why when he said, by the way, was this not offensive too? Uh, I'd have so many things on my plate. I'll go to the next one. I'll go to the next massacre. I'll get to one eventually. Now the president's speak, spoken about 13 of these. I, I, that seems callous to me. And so blase, like I'm sure there will be another. What are you getting so worked up about for? This is America. We're going to have tons of school gun massacres. So he said that. He also said, uh, aren't we finally ready for someone who actually wants to solve these problems when his side clearly, objectively, has no interest even, even discussing, let alone solving the gun problem in America? And then he says, you know, why do they always try to politicize something? You're not running for biologist. You're running for president. It's a politician. That's what politicians do. They try to get across solutions politically for the problems that exist. They don't just go and, and, and take up arms and then beat up everybody. They, they use politics. They use laws. That's what they do. As they have a whole segment politicizing the shooting, saying basically oh, it's Obama's fault and he shouldn't go to Oregon and he should listen to our political positions on it. 
Yeah. And then they say, hey, the nerve in the middle of it to say, tut, 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 can you believe how he's politicizing it? Yeah. It's almost like a fly in your Chardonnay. 